So let's talk about some advanced concepts on the AWS Security Hub. So first of all, there is cross-region aggregation that's possible for the Security Hub. That means that you can send data from different regions in one central region, which makes, of course, security administration a lot easier. On top of it, on top of cross-region aggregation, we also have organizations integration. So that means that you can manage all the accounts of Security Hub into one central account. So automatically, if new accounts are added into your organization, Security Hub will detect them and add them. And you can also have the management account by default as the Security Hub administrator, but you can also design one of the member accounts to be a designated delegated administrator for Security Hub. On top of it, you must enable AWS config no matter what for Security Hub to work because many of the security checks are using AWS config. Also, you must make sure that config is enabled all, on all accounts, okay? And Security Hub does not manage your config configuration, so make sure on your own that config is enabled across all your member accounts in your organizations. Now, Security Hub has a few security standards, so it will just generate findings and continuous checks against all the, these standards. And for example, from the standard one that comes with uh, your standard Security Hub, we have the CIS AWS Foundations, PCI DC DSS, and the AWS Foundational Security Best Practices. And you can just enable it in the console. And it's possible for you to enable or disable a security standard. So let's have a look at the integrations with Security Hub. So of course, you need to remember that Guard Duty generates findings, and these findings can be sent to Security Hub. So we just learned about Guard Duty. We saw some of these findings, for example, Cloud Trail Logging Disabled, Suspicious Files, SSH Bruce Force, and these findings are going to be sent automatically for uh, being dealt with in the Security Hub. So they're going to be converted to something called the ASFF format, the AWS Security Finding Format, just because this is what the Security Hub is using overall. Findings are usually sent within five minutes. And then if you archive a finding in Guard Duty, it doesn't mean that it will update the finding in Security Hub. Okay, so make sure you manage the findings directly in Security Hub. Now for services integration, so not just Guard Duty can send data into the Security Hub, but a lot of them. So AWS Config, Firewall Manager, Guard Duty, Health, Access Analyzer for IAM, Inspector, IoT Device Defender. Massey and the SSM patch manager and maybe others in the future can send findings into the security hub. So it's really why it's called a security hub. It's because it aggregates the security finding across all the different security services of AWS. And then to deal with these findings, we have a couple of other services that receive them. So we have the audit manager, we have AWS chatbot, we have Amazon detective, we have trusted advisor and SSM explorer and ops center. Next, Security Hub can also receive data from third-party integrations and actually also send data to other partners. So what is sending findings to Security Hub? Well, for example, these ones, 3CoreSec, AlertLogic, Aqua. And to just enable these findings in Security Hub, you go in the console, you find the finding you want, and you, do you find the partner you want, and you click on Accept Findings. And for example, for this one, it's going to help you do intrusion detection systems and network forensics. You also have other services that can receive findings from Security Hub. So we aggregate data in Security Hub, but then we send it to Atlassian, FireEye, or Fortinet because this is maybe where you manage your findings. And on top of it, some of these third-party integrations can loop back into Security Hub and update the findings there so that they are archived. So for example, Atlassian or ServiceNow. Now for these findings, so they are always in the ASFF format, the security finding format of AWS, and automatically Security Hub is going to delete and update them. So if we look at these findings, so we this is some of them that were uh, being received in my console, for example, that I haven't rotated an IAM user access key in 90 days, or that my password policy was not strong enough. And so therefore I can click on one of these findings and then I have a workflow and I can say it's new, I've been notified, it's been suppressed or resolved so I can get more information and I can update my finding over time. If I don't deal with it, then automatically past 90 days, the findings are going to be deleted. And in the console, you can filter by region, integration, security standards, and insights. So what is an insight? 
well, uh, we've seen that there are findings and they represent individual security issues, but there are insights in Security Hub and they are a collection of findings that identifies a security area that requires in attention and intervention. For example, if we find that many situations are having poor security practices, this can become an insight. So insights bring findings from across finding providers and each insight is therefore defined by group by statements and optional filters. So you can define your own insights. So you have the built-in manage insights and this is only giving you results for related product integration or security standards and you cannot edit or delete them. This comes as you enable security standards, but you can define your own custom insight to track issues specific to your environment. For example, if you want to track critical findings affecting member accounts. Security Hub also has some automation possible. So we can define custom actions. And thanks to custom actions, we can actually automate Security Hub with Amazon EventBridge. So we create a custom action and then we send it into EventBridge. And so this gives you possible response and remediation possibilities by using Amazon EventBridge. So you have in EventBridge, you have to define a event type of type Security Hub findings custom action. So it's better to go through an architecture for you to understand what I mean. So in this example, we have the Security Hub administrator in a security account, which could be the delegated administrator. And then we have our workloads accounts where we have member for Security Hub. So for example, say we have Amazon Massey that's enabled and it's monitoring an S3 bucket for PII data and it detects some. So it's going to create a finding in the Security Hub and that finding is going to be aggregated back into the administrator accounts. From there, we can trigger a Security Hub custom action, which is going to pass down that event into Amazon EventBridge. From EventBridge, just have a Lambda function, and that Lambda function can, for example, remediate either the S3 bucket or the S3 object based on the code you want and on the action you've defined and implemented, and then resolve the finding itself in the member Security Hub and you're good, and you have automated the processing of the findings from Amazon Massey. Another option, and this is a bit more you know, general, is we have again a workload account and a security account. The events are going to be aggregated, and then we have the detection phase where we're going to trigger stuff in Security Hub and custom actions. The ingestion phase where all these events are going to flow into Amazon EventBridge. The remediation phase where, for example, you have Lambda functions or step functions workflow that can be triggered from Amazon EventBridge. And then based, for example, on the step function, you can have any kind of way to remediate. So it could be, for example, using SSM automations, which at the end of the day will mark the findings as resolved in the security hub. And then you need to log these uh, actions. So SNS or CloudWatch logs are great locations for that. So this is just a general architecture. But remember, detect, ingest, remediate, and log. All right, that's it for Security Hub. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next lecture.